Hello again guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Understanding the Self class. For this video, I am going to discuss to you lesson 2 which is about the self, society, and culture. This is actually just a very quick discussion and I hope that you'll get something from this so that maka-answer mo sa tong prelim. Okay, so now the lesson objectives you will be able, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the relationships between and among self, society, and culture. Next is you will be able to describe and discuss the different ways by which society and culture shape the self. Now, let us go directly to this question. What is the self? So, in contemporary literature... Self is defined as, there are a lot, separate, self-contained, independent, consistent, unitary, private. So, walay katapusan ang question ng what is the self. In our previous discussion, many philosophers have uh, discussed or gave their opinions and views about what the self is. So, now... The contemporary literature has <clears throat> defined it also. So let us proceed. Self as separate. So by separate, it is meant that the self is distinct and unique from other self, which means one cannot be other person. You are unique. I believe that we are all created uniquely by our creator. So definitely, uh, no one can duplicate us. Even if na kay twin, brother or sister, na kay super pariha kay ni Mugnaong, ngay moha nga igsoon, but uh, dili na siya basis nga same na mo. You might be identical twin, pariha now almost the, the almost the same ninyo, but your behavior, your characteristics, your personalities could really differ and could really vary because we are all unique. So that is what you meant here by separate. Naka separate ba? Lahi, lahi rajud ka. Let's proceed with self-contained and independent. Okay, it says here, in itself, it can exist, and it doesn't need other self to exist, which means, mabuhi ra ka kung walay other self. Why? Because you are not directly connected nga ka ng imong ginhawa, siya na ginhawa, o mustap siya ginhawa, ikaw, stop po ka ginhawa. No, you do not need any other self to exist. Kung mukaon siya, niya, daghan kayang gikaon, ah, mangutana ko, nabusog ka, niya, siya rin nagkaon, ikaw wala. ba? Kung siya, siya nagkaon, siya rin mabusog, ikaw wala kay labot, because, ah, li, dili man mo, same. So, yun ana, kono na siya. Self-contained, with its own thoughts, characteristics, and volition. So, you have your own thoughts. You have your own characteristics. Ako ang nangagiingon. So, kung unsala nang imuhang na huna, dili na siya maadto sa uban nga huna huna. Unless imuhang gi speak out. So, you have your own thoughts. You have your own characteristics which is not shared by others. So, ni mo ragin na siya. Now, let's proceed to consistent. Consistent is self's traits, characteristics, are more or less the same. So, para ni contemporary literature, the self is consistent. Why? Because it has a personality that is enduring and therefore can be expected to persist for quite some time. Let's say you have this attitude from before, sa gamay pa ka, nga luuran ka, nga hamtod na dako na ka, Luuran ragi hapon ka. So, that is an example of your characteristic or your trait that is enduring and could persist. Yeah, could persist for quite some time. But, you know, that 
pagkaluoran ni mo can also be changed. Dili nagpasabot nga luoran ka sa gamay ka. Hangto ni Giyod ka mamatay luoran ka. Dili. So it can be changed also. But those kinds of characteristics, pwede siya nga mo last, pwede siya nga mo endure for a long time. So that's what you meant by consistent. But the social contract constructivists argue with this. So later on, uh, you will see um, why they argue. Okay, now, next, self is unitary. It says here, it is the center of all experiences and thoughts that run through a certain person. Self is considered to be unitary because all your experiences, all your thoughts, ikaw raman maoy na kahibalo ana. So, dili, as what I've said, you cannot share your thoughts with other unless you speak it, unless imuhanggi istoriya. You cannot share your experiences through others, your struggles to others. Ikaw ragyud mismo ang nakabalo ana how it really feels. So, you are the center of all experiences. Kono, that's why, that's why the self is unitary. Now, let's go to the self as private. So, each person sorts out information, feelings, and emotions, and thought processes within the self. So, kanang imong mga information nga gipang Ah, uh, gipang sort out sa imo na huna. Let's say for example, na kay nakitan nga naglakaw. Giganahan kaniya the way the way ng tawhana nagdress up, the way siya mo smile, the way siya naglakaw. And by sorting that um information sa imo na huna, you have this feeling nga murag nalipay gilantaw niya ang imong dughan gabuto-buto na so kana siya nga imuhang mga panghuna-huna naara na siya nimo as what i have said a while ago nga yourself is not really directly connected to other self nga kung naa kay makita nagiganahan ka automatic ang imong tapad nakabalo dili ingon ana because kung unsa imong makita an kung unsa lang imong pagprocess ana nga thought ana nga feeling ana nga emotion ikaw ra mismo ang nakasabot ana and ikaw ra pud mismo ang kaibaw nga ay okay happy ko nga nakakita niya but once nga dili na siya nimo i share to other person it remains in nimora it remains to be with you it remains to be inside your head it remains to be inside your heart if dili na siya nimo i share nga dili na siya nimo i sulti okay so that the self is private so those are the definition of the self according to the contemporary literature now let's proceed to self and society when we say society it refers to our community to the people uh, that surrounds us so social constructivists argue that the self should not be seen as static entity that stays constant through and through because self is always subjected to influences here and there so this is uh ni oppose ni siya sa definition ni contemporary literature about the self which is the self is consistent because with the society our self cannot be considered consistent or constant because it is it says it says here that the self is always subjected to influences here and there so unsa man sila to what are these influences so for you to better understand this i have prepared here an illustration okay so now let's say this picture here this animated picture of a man let's call this man as Stefan. Okay. So, Stefan is a college instructor. Remember this, ha? Huh? He is also a husband. And he is a father. And aside from that, he is a friend. So, maglantaw ta, si Stefan is a rakabuok. But the roles ngang ihanggigampanan sa society 
or daghan. So, as a man of different roles, so si Stefan, daghan siya roles nga ginaatiman, ginaatubang. One can expect Stefan to change and adjust his behaviors, ways, and even language depending on his social situation. So now, you will see. Dili siya pwede siya, si Stefan siya, but he needs to change roles from one time to from one time to another napod here stefan as an instructor so as you can see no bumoto na si stefan dere nag teach siya as you can see in stefan here so he is projecting uh an instructor look an instructor behavior so he has dominion over his students nag teach siya serious siya so because he is an instructor so iyang gigampanan ang iyang role as a college instructor but when stefan goes home sa ilang house dili na siya college instructor he is now a husband to his loving wife. So, in the first picture, we can see here, si Stefan gihapon ni siya, nilain rayang naong. Stefan here is cooking together with his wife. So, you can see that Stefan is smiling. He is not as serious already as katong nagnaapa siya sa school. He is portraying to be an instructor. So, now he is serious. He is happy, smiling, cooking with his wife. And the next picture is taking care of his buntit wife. So as you can see, from a serious man, he shifted to be a loving husband. Alright, so since the anak ng asawa ni Stefan, in the picture we can see that he is doing his responsibilities, his job as a father. He is guiding his son to walk. And later on, when, uh, let's say, nidako na siya, so, nakibagay na po siya sa iyahang anak. So, he, he tends to be goofy. He tends to be very playful with his son. So, that is, uh, you can see the change of attitude, the change of behavior of Stefan from being a very serious instructor to being a very loving wife to a uh, la husband to his wife and to be a very caring and playful father to his kid. So, aside from being a father, Stefan is also a friend to his friends. So, in this, um, we can see that he is having a good time with his friends. He is exercising with his friends. So, the attitude that he is showing to his friends uh, is actually different from being a father, actually different from being a husband and being an instructor. Now, we go to the self and the culture. So, according to Marcel Moss, a French anthropologist, every self has two phases. So, on sa manisha, person, or, and, actually, moi. So, let us define these two. When we say moi, it refers to a person's sense of who he is, his body, his basic and the identity, and his biological givenness. So, basically, this refers to our characteristic, physical characteristic. Kung say makita ni mo sa imong pagkaikaw, let's say you're tall, you're short, you're pretty, you're not pretty, uh, you, what, what you think, muna siya moy, your biological givenness, your identity, imong mga panghuna-huna. But when we say persone or person, person it is um it refers rather to social concepts of what it means to be who you are or what it means to be who he is so moi is more on the physical aspect but persone or person is more on the social aspect so si person maoni siyay flexible because uh this will adjust to the situation with your surroundings to your um, social situation when the situation calls you to be serious so yourself become serious when the situation calls you to be goofy to be playful and to be sweet so uh persone ang in charge ana nga mga butanga so yes I guess I will end here with my discussion. So I will just continue this uh, for with the next um, video. 
because um, this will just be the one included in your prelim exam but before that I will uh, give you a question for you to answer now do you agree that our society and culture are contributing factors to be who you are as a person so if yes why and no why so now my dear students comment that below and do not forget to include your section so i guess that's it for this video and good luck to your prelim exam goodbye thank you